willing to allow ourselves to be constantly deceived by our own thinking, then it is not so good. So I think that uh, with our problems as they are, it would be a good plan for everyone who can to kind of think through this problem of trying to reform his own mind, to get his mind into a condition in which it can serve not only himself but his world, that it can make a lasting and enduring contribution to his family, to his friends, to those around him, a contribution of integrity, of unselfishness, of dedication, and of honest, straight thinking. The most difficult and valuable of all senses is common sense. And common sense is actually the uh, machine of the six senses coordinated. Common sense is what comes out when all that goes in is correct and is honorably recorded. Out of all the experiences of life, the final value lies in the fact that it strengthens the common sense which joins all human beings, the, the tremendous sensitiveness to the universal purpose and the plan to which we all belong. So if we work with these things a little bit, I think maybe we can become an operator of our own private computer and see that it doesn't bill wrong, go out of order every few minutes, and come up with some incredible conclusions because we don't use it properly. If we don't use the mind properly, it can get us into a lot of trouble. Use it well, and it can be an ever-present help. It's up to the individual to realize that he is the master of the mind, just as he is properly the ruler of his body.